<sighs> she thinks that it's time to go on my lap. Lap later, honey. Lap later. Um, one minute. I, I, I've forgotten to do something. Hang on. Hello everyone, hello and welcome. Sorry about that, I just popped the heating on so the radiator that's behind the sofa should start coming on soon. And then Lulu will have a nice warm place to uh, plonk her bottom for the rest of the afternoon. Right! Uh, do they reach the end or near end, Magni? What do you mean, sorry? Do they reach the end? Not sure what you mean, sorry. As, as in, did we finish the playthrough? For Divinity? Yes, indeed. In fact, we played through Divinity twice. Sorry, my voice is kind of weak. What's going on? <coughs> I haven't really tested my voice this morning. Hang on, let me just wet the whistle. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Vo uh, Void Slayer, Tension Tiny, Ben Bradford. Thank you, all of you. One second, I'm all over the shop this morning. Let me see if I can get the overlay up that will show the subscribers. Uh, it was having a malfunction. It wasn't logging in. There we go. Log in this time. That's better. For some reason, it just wasn't working last night when we, when we played a bit of Ready or Not. Making a pop-out window. Drag and drop. Okay. Right. Thank you for saying so, Napalm. Thank you. Yes, indeed. So... For those just joining, I finished the yeah I, I finished the latest bullshittery. I finished it last uh, Friday, and uh, for a couple of days it just sort of floated privately to the subscribers, and I put it public last night. Yeah, I think, but by the looks of it, some people like it. Well, people like it, so hooray! Right. <coughs> a swarm of the inevitable comments of "Where have you been for nine years?" or whatever. Um, I don't. I don't think. But sorry, as a slight whinge, I don't think twelve weeks is that unusual for a twenty-five minute Adobe After Effects heavy video. But maybe that's just me. Um, yeah. Anyway, welcome everyone. <coughs> so, when's the next bullshittery, Robson? So the plan is now. Uh, if you'll forgive me, I'd like to take the rest of the week off just to relax and uh, recuperate. I also have taxes to do. The deadline is looming. The deadline is Wednesday. So I've got to get that shit done today. Additionally, I was going to sit there and pen the script for a couple of video essays. Very, very short ones. Uh, like, by short, I mean three to four minutes short. So uh, I was going to do that and see how they sound. And, um, yeah, and then start thinking about the, uh, the next bullshittery. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why my voice is so raspy. Thank you, Frostcup. Thank you very much, Frostcup. Hmm. Okay. Good to hear it, Carney. Yes, indeed. I've tried to cut it back a lot. The middle conversation in that bullshittery with Ralik the God is there only because it's absolutely necessary. If I don't include it, then the central premise that the game is actually a competition, a secret competition, is not revealed. And therefore, the end of the game is going to be hella confusing. When all of a sudden it's a mad rat, uh, it's a mad um, uh, dash to get to uh, to get to divinity. Okay. So as for right now, welcome to a bit of dredge. Hang on a minute. So what's going on? What is this game? So dredge is a fishing game where you play as an angler who's sailing the high seas. I guess just the this archipelago. Hang on. In his little fishing boat. Now. I'm over here by the fifth island in the game, Devil's Spine. It seems to be a volcanic... Well, I'm guessing that's a, an exploded underwater volcano with lots of ruins around the place? Or maybe it's a sunken city. It's not clear yet. <coughs> uh, 
essentially, we're sailing around the place trying to get as much fish as we can and sell it. Sorry. <clears throat> I think I need a glass of water. Hang on. So, we're trying to sell as much fish as we can, whilst also retrieve artefacts on the request of various people that want them. Uh, say, for example, there's a collector who wanted me to retrieve... Wait, that's not it. That's the encyclopedia. Pursuits. He wanted, to me, uh, wanted me to retrieve various bits of jewellery, and apparently there's a watch here at Devil's Spine. He's a bit of a weirdo, that guy. He's, um... Yeah, he constantly casts magic spells from a book, and... A few minutes ago, in game, I bumped into a crazy old hermit on this island who was screaming that I should have thrown the book back. We did also encounter a message in the bottle, in a bottle, saying that an, a, a fisherman dredged up a book, or rather, it was a it was a chest, wasn't it? It was a cursed chest. So maybe that maybe that fisherman was me. Maybe I've lost my memory. It's not sure. That fisherman did have a wife, so. I don't know. Maybe she's about. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, thank you, Dingo, and Don Braid One, and Frostcup. Right. What's my current plan, then? So, <coughs> let me just pull up to the dock. Right. Indeed, Twitten. Very foggy in Brighton today. Yeah. Uh, step outside. It's crazy. Right. Let's put this coin in storage, along with this research point. Is there anything that I can spend it on? Research. Hmm. So I've got the new type of... What's this, sorry? Fathomless Winch. Abyssal and Hadel. So I've already got this one. Right. Maybe the next engine unit would be wise. I've still got quite a few upgrades to go. Yeah, let's work on a much bigger engine unit, shall we? Looks like I need, the, I need more space for it, though. <coughs> okay. So we need a lot more upgrades. Put these down here. Right. Okay. So, let's go to my floating dock. New hull. So, we, yeah, it looks like we need to upgrade the hull before we can get the new engine. Okay. The jets are better than all of them. Yeah? Cool, cool. Right. So, keep your eyes peeled for a couple of pieces of metal, two bolts of cloth, and four bits of timber. Wait, don't I have the... Hang on. Oh, storage? Oh, I thought I had one piece. Oh, I did have one piece of metal. Okay. Right. Thank you, Weltonman and Nim Radium. Thank you very much. I don't know, Mrs. Tetris. Uh, surely that would be individual to you. It would just be the algorithm for you, trying to recommend what it thinks you would like. Hmm. Thank you, Tinstar. <coughs> and Bruce Willis. Yeah, how is everyone? Hang on. So let's explore the edge of this for a second. See if I can find some bits worth fishing. Keep your eyes peeled for... What do those fish do? Do they attract the big mummy one? So they make a squeaky noise. Does that make the really big one come and find me? Does that put a time limit on... How long I can fish inside that little area? Maybe. Big one coming? Trying to work out the mechanics of this new area. Maybe not. They slow me down, do you reckon? Okay. <coughs> what have we got in here then? Oops, whoops, my mistake. Okay, bit of treasure. Let's just dredge for this. Okay. What's that? A silver plate. Depleted? Just cash, really. Some debris? What's this? Okay, night's falling. Good, some bolts of cloth. I'll take this. Yep, there, go there goes my no claims. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ash MD. Yeah. Thank you for saying so, Ash. Okay, I think we need... Was it two bolts of cloth? So watch my sanity meter at the top. Whoops. 
Do, 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 do. There we go. <clears throat> and what's this over in the corner? Oh, careful. Ah, just some more treasure. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. That weird smoke shit is getting me. I'm going to choose to banish using a magical, magical ability that is forcing back evil. Don't ask. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it is? Oh dear. Okay, so my sanity got really frayed there because I was fishing at night next to the weird ruins. Okay. Ugh. Best be careful. Let's rest. Okay. Go to the shipyard, the floating dock even. Put these bolts of cloth. Okay, so just four bits of wood and two bits of refined metal. Alright. <clears throat> Let's undock. There's a message in a bottle over here. Let's see what it says. Watch out for them. If I switch off the light, do they not come for me? I know they do. What's that say then? Hang on. Best get away from the big one. <clears throat> what happens if your sanity drops too low? You start buying NFTs. And then you try to convince all the other people that live at Greater Marrow that they have value. And they just stare at you like you're crazy. Um, okay, hang on. So... Of course, uh, I've damaged that engine. Let's just get that fixed. So go to the shipyard? Mm. Okay. Repair all. Mm. Do I have any fish on me in the net? I do. <clears throat> Serpentine mackerel. It lashes out, lashes out with its teeth, its tail. A hissing rises from its mouth and then from the water around you. Ugh. So snake mackerel and a serpent mackerel. Yeah, sell them all. Right. Okay, I've got the crab pot that I can put down. Yeah, just focus on exploring the local area for now. Okay. As for research points, just hang on to the one that I've already got. What's the other thing I was going to do? Uh, the bottle. That was it. So, messages. What's this? My darling. So, sixth question mark. Not sure when, when this was made. My darling, I found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the wind, but now I almost feel whole again. There is just one thing left to do. Throw me back. What does that mean? <clears throat> uh, very center of Stella Basin to see the lights. So that was the honeymooning couple getting married? Yeah, over there. How strange. Oh, you can give the snake mackerel to the hoodies? Is that what they wanted? Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Fenny. Thank you very much, Fenny. All right. What's that over there? More debris. Carefully explore. Oh, look. Statues of the hoodies? God damn it. That's what they're laughing, isn't it? Plenty of treasure in the ruins. <coughs> okay. A goblet. Right. Could do with some wood. Keep your eyes peeled for any shipwrecks. Oh, look out. Little chitty fish. Uh, some sort of flatfish down here. <laughs> a pale skate, a new species. It's one of the deepest living species of skate, thought to use hydrothermal vents as incubators for its egg cases. Hmm. Okay. Ah, what's that? I see some wood. I think I think that's wood. Okay. Let me just switch on the haste ability. I can hear the big fish breathing over there, so. Nice and careful. Uh-oh. They think they have indeed attracted the attention of Big Mummy. Get some wood quickly and then book it. Is it 
are coming. I cannot see it. I think I'm all right. Keep going. So we need four pieces of wood in total. Still good. Nice and careful now. Oh, damn. I've exhausted it. What's this in here? Oh, I hear it. Hear something. Oh. I hear it coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Damn it. You broke me. Oh, I'm probably fucked, actually. Hold on. Should I use my teleport ability? I might have to. I'm really... Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, no! Oh, no! I died! <laughs> oh, shit! That's it? You just die? Damn it, I got two-shotted. Oh, dear. Okay. So, that, that fish is way more dangerous than I expected. Whoops. Okay. Well, we just lost the last few minutes. Right, watch out for that, then. Okay. Yeah, maybe don't go into the little, uh, <clears throat> into the little ruins until I've discovered a way of, uh, dealing with the big mummy fish. What's this over here in the middle? Let's go have a look. <coughs> Thank you, average spaceman. So, if you're just joining the stream, welcome. There's the big fish. I'm just playing Dredge, in which we're playing as an angler, going around collecting bits, well, fishing, mostly, but also collecting bits for people that request things, like books or jewellery or whatever. Oh, look. Oh, fuck. A man meets you at the dock, as you dock even, bracing himself against the wind and spray. What are you wearing? Oh, rapturous, rapturous day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. I'm just passing through. Nonsense! Your arrival is um, providence from the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. <laughs> I don't want to be your replacement. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm, I should get going. Do I have to? This guy's fucking weird. I'll be back later. The sea will return you to me in time. Right. Okay, what's this, sorry? Statues. Which statue do you want to look at? The middle one. The statue holds a stone crucible. It's empty. Hmm. The statue holds a stone crucible. It's empty. Offerings for something? Stone columns of this temple are carved with ancient pictures and text. Which carving would you like to look at? A swarm of small creatures. The carving shows a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children. Alone, they are nothing. Together, they summon her. Beneath these words, someone has added a crudely scratched note. Do not let them grip you. Burn them away. Ah, maybe I need to drive them into the volcanic vents. The bubbling vents. The carving shows a bubbling underwater vent. Uh, the breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm. Only the pure remain. Beneath these words, someone's, someone has added a crudely scratched note. Protection. Follow the magma. Find them. The large eyeless beast. The carving is of a large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseen mother. Unseeing mother. When the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Beneath these words, someone has added a crudely scratched note. Blind but can hear the children. Avoid at all costs. Okay. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, told me how I can solve the, uh, the big mummy fish problem. Let's give it a quick test. So I presume driving over the volcanic vents does not damage the boat. All right. Yeah, it should, it should ward off the little fuckers. Wait, so blind? So does that mean I can drive near it? It won't. S oh no, wait, it's got its own pilot fish around it. Okay. Ah, another one. 1st of June. 
Yesterday, uh, yesterday was the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course, but to my surprise, she bequeathed her pocket watch. Uh, sorry, bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious. I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it would mean a lot to him. I, can't, I cannot help but feel it's some veiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. Hmm. Some mother left the honeymooning... The, is it the honeymooning wife? The pocket watch? We are here for a watch. The weird collector dude wanted us to come here to find the watch. Hmm. Okay. Right. So where are we? So we're here. Okay, so let's go and uh, yeah, have a look at these few islands over here while we still have the daylight. So yeah, hope everyone's okay today. For those passing through the stream, uh, yes, I finished the um, the latest bullshittery. I'm going to take a short break and then get on with the next video soon. Thank you for your patience as always, folks. Oh, fuck. Not more of these fucking LARPers. See, if you fucking spent, you know, that money on... The money that you're spending on your robes. And all that dye. If you fucking spent it on fucking food. Because look, what the fuck is this? You approach the hooded figure. They're standing expectantly. Vermilion red robes blowing in the wind. Fishermen, serve. The voice from the hood cuts through the humid air. Deliver the vessel. The hooded figure produces an old paper scroll. They pointed it a cusk eel. Maybe. I'll think about it. Fuck you. Is that, a, is that an eel? Nope. Snake mackerel. Hmm? You want a mackerel? You can have a mackerel? Yeah. Fucking take it. If you were really starving, you'd take it. Picky motherfucker. Right. <coughs> What's that there? Some skate? I'm a Tory. God, no. Vuh. You take that back immediately. <laughs> but at the same time... <laughs> fucking scroungers. What's this bit here? Have I explored that? Oh, yeah, that's where we found the shipwrecked dude. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry. Just trying to wet the whistle. <clears throat> uh, what's a Tory? A Tory. It's a political uh, a political party in the United Kingdom. Right. So, what now then? I guess back to the dock. I need to find more metal. So find what? Well, I guess I need to start exploring these ruins then. Find metal. Find four bits of wood. I presume I didn't get the two bolts of cloth. Okay. So we'll go around here. Oh wait, I didn't actually check the back of this, did I? We've never actually been around the back of the uh, of the island chain. What's that over there? Oh, there's a oceanic uh, oceanic species there. Hmm. Oh, I see. Did the did the islands actually get highlighted when you fully explored them? Ah, okay. No, because I went around there, didn't do anything. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, um, trying to think if there's anything new, really. Well, so the the most pressing thing that I've got to do at the start of this week, folks, uh, I've got to finish doing my taxes. Uh, what that means, if you're self-employed, is it just uh, oceanic? You fill in, you fill in a form, you fill in a self-assessment tax form. And you essentially declare... Oh, night time, out in the middle of nowhere. Let's go to Steel Point. You declare how much money you took in. I've done that bit. Easy peasy. Oh, shit. Uh, the bit that's not so easy peasy is that um, as part of uh, tax relief, you get to declare certain things as expenses. Office equipment, that sort of thing. And so there's a bunch of stuff which I can declare as expenses, such as web hosting or whatever. All stuff necessary for the business. So, it's going through my bank statements. Oh, fuck's sake. Going through my bank statements, finding the bits that I can list as deductibles. 
that's the that's the time consuming bit because it's a case of oh this i don't know like there was 40 pounds that went somewhere back in april of 2022 what was it for so then you've got to go down to like go into bank bank statement go into paypal where did that money go and you're meant to keep like well you can keep like invoices to sort of keep track of it do i do that no because that would be efficient Right. Okay, we'll just rest here. No, pawn is not a deductible. Hmm. Yep, a percentage of your rent. Uh, if you work from home, you get to set an average number of hours that you work from home. Uh, that's a deductible. Uh, along with your internet, if you are an, an internet-based internet, words even internet-based company. Uh, same if you have like a company car or something that you use for travel. Not that I do, so I don't put that as, uh, put any of that as a deductible. I did actually ask the accountant one time if if uh, if you were a content creator, if the games that you purchase can go on there, and he was like, I probably wouldn't. I'm like, okay. Hang on. Ooh, another research thing. Nice. So we need four planks of wood to upgrade to the last form of the vessel. A test eagle. I think that's that's um, what the, the work from home thing is meant to be. Okay. So yes, I'm going through and I'm uh, listing all of my expenses and uh, putting them in the right categories and then on the, the um, what is it, the the platform, the, the accountancy, the, the accountancy firm that I've got, have basically got like a dashboard. It fills it in automatically. Like it goes into this column, goes into this column. Hi there, social. Instead of socials in the chat, everyone. Hope you're hope you're very well, social. Mm, with glowy stones that don't seem to do anything. Just currently looking for shipwrecks. Looking for wood or metal. Huh. Okay. Jordan says, as someone who used to work for the HMRC several years ago, in the department you'd call to discuss your tax returns. I apologise it for being a right pain in the balls. Uh. Also, oh, oh you mean the tax in general? <laughs> yeah. Also, you probably could include the games. They're intrinsic to the product services you provide. Um, okay, well, I, I'm, I'm just doing what, what my accountant tells me. Uh, the accountant, the account, uh, my accountant said it probably wasn't a good idea. So you know. But hi there, Jordan. But yeah, so uh, honestly, it's, it's, it's mostly things like um, exterior assets and subcontractor costs for the bullshittery videos. Whilst they're edited solo, I do, I do constantly con like have subcontractors. In the form of, well, stuff getting made for it. Wait, have I been here? Yes, I have. This is the mayor, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Did I go all the way around the island looking for wrecks? Aha, what's that? Stop here. Ah, good. Some uh, bolts of cloth. Um, yeah, so today, unfortunately, uh, this afternoon, it's a case of polish off those last uh, few expenses for um, the 22 to 23 tax year. Get that filed. Uh, then, I need to do a, uh, take a trip to the tip. I've got a whole bunch of random random bits that have sort of, that I need to, well, get to the tip. I've got, like, a whole bunch of bowls that I don't need. My kitchen was overflowing with bowls. I don't know why. Um... I've got a busted microwave I need to take to the tip, busted kettle, some old bits of a fishing rod that actually snapped in half, and I went to go pick it up and I got this great big awful splinter, which was like carbon whatever, carbon fibre. It was very painful. Oh dear. Quick, get to the dock. Where is it? Shit, have I missed it? I think I've missed it. Drove past it. We'll go this way. Oh, fucking stop it, Satan. Hang on. 
Oh, hello. Oh, look! It's that big pirate thing again. We saw this the last time, didn't we? And the chat had a go at me for avoiding it. What is it, do you reckon? Yeah. Do, do, do. Ah, it's a ghost ship. Ah. That's it? That's all it was? <laughs> Whoa! Wait, is it another one? Hmm. Right, okay then. So, let's go and sell the fish that I've picked up. Hello, traveller. Oh, wow. Got quite a bit of cod, quite a, bit of, quite a bit of snake mackerel. Sweet, $300 in total. Lovely. Should really put the crab pot down here, shouldn't I? Get some crabs. All right. What else have I got here? Um, put these research bits away. Go to the floating dock. The new hull. Start loading up. Oh, bolts of cloth already there. All right. Put them in storage. So three bits of wood and two bits of refined metal, and we should have our big, big ship. Ooh. All right. So yes, taxes, a, a trip to the uh, to the local tip to throw some bits away. I also need to do some fishing. I've got some fishing, cooking even. Uh, I'm I've got some chicken, and I'm going to make some. I can't remember. It's either a chicken tikka, or so I've, I've got some curry sauce. But I've also got some large. Um, so I've got some naan bread, but I've also got, I've got some large um, floury wraps. I was going to make some burritos, but with rice and curry instead. Mmm, and um, and mango chutney. All over the top. Mm -mm. Thank you, Miss Caviar. And Hey Lessons, an average spaceman. Thank you, Fenny and Araxis. And Bruce Willes. Thank you, all of you. You're very kind to me. Thank you for your generosity, everyone. How's the bread making going, Formiga? Terribly. Uh, when I get next in the mood to try, we'll see how it goes, you know. Right. Yeah, it should do wonders for the blood pressure. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's go. So, let's get into the ruins again. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really fishing right now. I'm just kind of trying to locate... Uh, bits of metal. Okay, Treasure, bits of metal. Things from the ruins that I can steal. <coughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> sure thing, Belf. Uh, alas, I'll probably never remember. Right. Nice and careful, yeah? Oh, look. Someone maintaining a glowy altar? A stone shrine, an uptight slab, bears a carving. Two heavily plated creatures locked in battle. A lower slab holds two shallow grooves. Oh. Okay, take the crab pot. See if we can get two of those crabs and put them on that thing, shall we? All right. Do -de do 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 do. More treasure. An opal ring. What's that there with those little bastards? Fuck off. Right. So let's try it. Let's go over here. Sweet. Makes them fuck off. Alright then. So. Just in case. Yeah, we'll keep the manifest ability ready. Oh, what's this? Type of fish I've not seen before. Oh no, maybe I have. Do, 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 do. I see. Volcanic thing there. Do, 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 do. Okay. 
ruby earrings. Is there a way out of this bit? I see, I'm only on the second island, so it's probably faster to just go straight back to the fishmonger. What does this altar say? A stone shrine, an uptight slab bearing a carving, two pale bottom dwellers hiding from their fates. Hmm. They look oceanic, maybe? Uh, a lower slab holds two shallow grooves. Hmm. I do not have those fish. Aha. Do I have any explosives? I presume I do not. No. Okay. Best keep, keep our eyes peeled for more of those. Okay. Sweet. Cool. And ring. Thank you, Artio. Thank you very much, Artio. Right, so let's go back to the fishmonger. Na, 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 na. Oh, what was that? I just fish. Oh, another bottle. What's this? Another message. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's uh, something special. Stone tablet. Okay. What is the stone tablet? Let's go this way. Okay, wait. She's all the way on the, on the other side, isn't she? Fuck off, you bastards. There we go. Right. To the fish market, so we'll sell this fish. It's worth $25. And the one's in the net. $84, I think. So an ancient stone tablet bearing a strange glyph. Maybe the trader at Little Marrow knows something about this. Okay. Put these bits of treasure in storage. Okay. So, let's go to bed. So, yes, um... I'm feeling a bit more relaxed, as you can probably tell. What with the bullshittery out of the way. Tell you, tell you who was also relaxed. Hang on. Turning the camera all the way against the radiator. That's the sofa arm. So that's... Uh, so, hang on. She's trying to press her body. She's behind the curtain, but she's trying to press her body down behind the sofa to get as close to the radiator as humanly possible. To get all that yummy warmth up into her chest and up her nose. <laughs> she's melting. Yeah, she's happy. She's a happy girl. Uh, that's, her, that's her face. That's not her bum, that's her face. No. Oh. Dopey creature. Hang on, let me just get her on for you. There we go. Oh, she's moving. Alright, honey. Sorry, did I wake you up? Oh, darling. Right. Alright, so, uh, now what? I guess we need to keep exploring. So go to the floating dock. Can I drop off anything? Any wood that I found? No, not really. Okay. Oh, yes. While we're here... Could I speak to the lady? Shipyard. Do you have any... Yes, could I buy some packed explosives, please? Oh, you've only got the one. Oh, you do have a stick of refined metal and two research parts. Hmm. Tempting, but I'll hang on to my stuff for now, please. Okay. Let's undock. Okay. Keep exploring this way, then. So I, I, yeah, I ended up not going in here, did I? Because I died. And it uh, went back, didn't it? So that's bolts of cloth. I don't need those. Treasure. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Indeed, Zenko, I got eaten by a giant fish. It's rather rude. <coughs> Okay. 
Aha, what's that in there? Anything of note? A pile of loose debris. It can be cleared to make a shortcut. Okay, I light the fuse. Boom. Aha. With the second one. Oh, look at that. Abyssal. Big fish down there. I see. Cool. Yeah, we should get another get another piece of explosive. Yeah, another explosive. As many as we can, essentially. Yeah, I don't have the equipment to fish Abyssal currently. Whee! Nice and careful. Without smashing the sides of the boat, if you please. <laughs> I see, we're just around here. The crab pot bubbles. What has it found? Ah, sweet. What's this? A volcanic snail. This hefty beast lives around the hydrothermal vents. Its foot is coated in hundreds of iron plates, which means you could catch this snail with a magnet. Squat lobster. Covered in tiny bristles and spines, this creature is thought to be blind. They process toxins spewed from hydrothermal vents. Gnarly space ingredients being served hot and fresh. From back when it was raining rocks or whatever. Wait, no. Speak to the altar? There we go. There we go. Looks like a yeah, different type of crab. Hmm. You're very welcome, Amozi. Uh, thank you for saying so, and I'm, I'm glad you like it. Once again, sorry that they take so fucking long. Yeah, so that divinity uh, bullshittery was cut over November, keyframed over December, and polished over January. It was a bit of a bastard. And I imagine my heart sinks, but Baldur's Gate is also going to be a similar bastard to edit when I eventually get around to that shit. It's the damn camera. So, uh, sorry, I, I, I know I do this a lot, but imagine you're trying to, trying to do text tracking, be it automated or manual. If the character is in the middle of the screen like this, it's not much of a problem, is it? Even if the camera rotates, there's not that much motion to, to compensate for, right? But consider the fact that rarely are you in the middle of the screen for something like Divinity, because the camera moves and you've got teammates who are moving all around you. So the problem you often have is, pretend that fish over there is Quebec, and Quebec's talking. If I move the camera a little bit, for me, barely matters, right? But for Quebec? Like, that's so much motion. Every tiny little turn of the camera makes so much additional motion. And then there's scaling, so zooming. Oh god, it's, yeah, so much motion. Something like Counter-Strike barely has any of that, because if, whoops. If the camera's in the foreground, then, well, who cares? Well, it, like the gun or something. The gun doesn't change scale. The gun barely moves. Hmm, so it's mostly hanging out over there. Just going to get a quick lay of the land. So what's it doing then? Hello, you bastard. Let me go this way. Switch on my haste ability. Okay, drag it over the volcano. Oh no, it's ignoring me. There we go. So what happens if I do this? Okay, so it immediately deagros. Which game is the easiest to edit? Counter-Strike. Easily. For, for some reason, well, uh, I'm pretty sure I know the reason, but I'm not certain. Uh, Counter-Strike has these little arrows that are above people's heads, and they always stay the same colour, the same orientation, even in shadow, even in smoke. Which means that you just need to tell the auto-tracker to follow the pink arrow, and it will do it more or less flawlessly. I'm guessing it's an eSport thing. But whatever the reason, it makes my job incredibly easy. I was able to crack out the last Counter-Strike bullshittery in record time. Something like three weeks or something mental. Because it was like, click, done, follow the arrow, done, fucking, you know, done. Barely, barely need to make, uh, make any changes. 
Right. <clears throat> I should start modding my multiplayer games to add little arrows to character models. Not a bad idea if it were... F well, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I possess the s skills to do that myself, Kellerpot. But yeah, as, as in that sort of thing would be immensely helpful. Hmm. In that case, in most games that have name tags above players or just CSGO, some games do. Purple Tiger, Hold Fast Nations at War, that has names above people. Uh, Ready or Not does, doesn't it? So yes, indeed, I can track the names as well. Yeah. Okay. What was the most fun bullshittery that I made recently? Recently, Ninchuku? Oh god. Uh... A goose game, probably. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you, Gobo. Right, so I'm getting, I'm, I'm losing the plot a little bit. Hang on. Ooh, what the fuck? Tattered mackerel. A tangle of ribbons streamed behind the fish. Its form converging around a shadowy head. A, stri uh, a strip slides away, retreating to the depths. Re weird. Okay. Put that in storage. Okay, so maybe I do need to, uh, yeah, I, maybe I do need to go and talk to the crazy old man in the middle of the ruins. Okay. Do you have any more explosives for sale? She does. Buy them. Repair all. Okay. So, let's go talk to the weirdo. Do I think Fox would work as a bullshittery? Oh yeah, I'm sure. <coughs> Hang on. Aha, wood. Sweet. Hang on, is that metal? This is way more important. <laughs> right. Stick that there. Oh, only two. Damn it. Uh, just some treasure. Could get that, but I'm looking for upgrades. Ah, metal. I've got plenty of that already, but mental note that that's there. And what's this? Uh, cloth. I've got plenty of that. Okay, let's go talk to the weirdo. Right, a fanatic. The rite of purification is overdue. Are you ready to begin? I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Also, why are your arms scaly? Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Uh, whatever. Happiness. Gold. Merely an excuse to halt the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. And your flesh, what does it crave? The warmth of the sun. And yet it eludes you. Darkness is cast over the rest of your days. Finally, what does the world deserve? What are you, fucking horoscope? In a way, it deserves all that is washed ashore, freely given from the deep, but no more than that. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as a herald of the purge. Just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. Weirdo. Okay. Anyway, these fish aren't going to catch themselves, dude. People got to get fed. I see, over there. Oh, is that what those um, weird altars were? Okay. Let's go over here, hang on. What's this, um... There's a dock over here. Drive in a straight line pl past the, um... Hang on. So get past the big mummy fish. Hi there, Messi. Hi there indeed, Messi. 
Messi, people have been liking your burns from the bullshittery, by the way. <laughs> oh, look. It's a dog. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, you got you got off many many a good jab in the latest Divinity bullshittery. People have been uh, laughing about them. Right. What's this? A cave. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. These paintings depict the fall of a civilization. A volcanic eruption tears through a tall lighthouse. Monstrous shapes devour people as buildings turn to ruin. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. These paintings depict the birth of a civilization. A great beacon of light is shown repelling a tentacle figure emerging from the sea. In the dim light of the cave, yep, yep, yep. hang on. Ancient Lighthouse. You climb the many steps leading up to the ancient lighthouse. At its base is a solid stone door. You can't see a handle, but there's a large socket carved into the face of the door. Question mark. Hmm. Do you reckon it's four pieces of that stone tablet that I found? Maybe. If we find all four, maybe it's the key to the lighthouse. If we can light the lighthouse, maybe we can get rid of the uh, the fish thing. Or maybe some greater evil. Hmm. Uh, good to know, Terriador. Thank you. Aha. Some wood. There we go. Might just have to start buying the metal from the trader. Okay. What's that in there? Bit, bit of treasure? Okay, I'm losing the light. Probably just rest here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi there, Hussar, SR. H Husa SR, welcome indeed. Sure, thank you. I think I'm right near the end of the game though, so... Yeah, I've been having my fun. Thank you, Wobble Blob. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'll just... So, Lulu, oh no, I'll, I'll leave her. Lulu, Lulu has fallen asleep with her head basically in the curtain. So rather than placing her head against the... Uh, looking out the window, she just basically flopped her head into the curtain gone, and just gone, fuck it. Gonna go to sleep. Okay. Is that roaring again? I, I assume the roaring was coming from the volcanic island. But I just heard a roaring out to sea over here. Weird. Maybe it's just like an ambient noise. Plays periodically. Okay. There's uh, some more metal. <laughs> What's that over there? Aha, could be a piece of that key. No, an eyes flag. Hmm. Right. Let's go this way. More treasure? Yeah, may as well. Can sell it for the yeah. For uh, cash for upgrades. No note, note that we haven't really done any fishing. We're just here plundering a ruin. Oh, there's some weird rocks. Okay. So wait, first ruins there with the big fish. Bog off, you little bastards. So that, I see, yeah, so it's definitely those big altars. Okay. So let me snake back through this ruin in order to get to my crab pot. Do you think my boat can fit? No. Mm -hmm. Through here we go. Piss off. 
through here we go. Okay. Then you guys fuck off. Then I go to the crab pot and I retrieve. Ah, there we go. The spider crab. A freakishly huge crab from the depths. Okay. Hang on. Move these planks of wood out the way. Stick the crab here. Then stick it on the altar. And then go and sell the other crab to hungry hungry customers. There we go. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. Piece of wood. A plate. The fathomless flame. A cold, unnatural flame. Dark shapes swirl and flicker inside. Right. Not enough room for the crab. I'll leave it behind. It's not going anywhere. Hi there, Mag. ZF Mag is in the chat, everyone. Whoops, fuck. Mag, you maybe do that. Yes, fathomless flame lost. Game soft blocked. Okay. Hope you're very, very well, Mag. Hope Sessie's well. Okay, get these snake mackerel sold. All right. So, let's go to... Go to the floating dock. And then put the bits of wood that I found. Okay, lovely jubbly. Uh, yep. Put this treasure away, so I'll sell that later. Okay. Does she have metal for sale? I might just have to buy it, unfortunately. Mm. Shipyard. She's got one piece of metal for 450. Very expensive. Alright. So, let us now go to the floating dock. Stick that there. Okay. So one more piece and then 1,500. So I'll go back and sell some of this treasure, I think. Oh yes, and buy more explosives. Good shout. So let's go to shipyard. Buy more of these. Okay. So I've got four research parts now. Maybe I should upgrade to the next engine. Hmm? Or I could go straight to the jet drive engine. Hmm. Oh wait, I still need to get this one first, don't I? 36. Twin prop engine. Speed 36. I see. Hang on. Yep, don't forget to repair the boat. I will indeed. Small top ones are the best. Yeah, but I, I want to see the other one, surely? Do I just skip all of it? Do I skip the entire big engine at the end? Alright. Let's go here then. One, two, three, four. Research complete. The jet drive engine is now available in the stores. Alright. Let's have a look. So go to the shipyard. Repair all. No, already done. Engines are here. 270 apiece. Okay. So let me remove the outboard. So 15. This is 9. This is 15. Okay. Remove that. Put that in storage. Then buy two of these. Oh, she's only got the one. All right. Okay. So. Oh, I see. Those are three, aren't they? Well, yeah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right, let me sleep. Then go back to the guy that bu buys all the treasure at, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Little Marrow. And sell a whole bunch of treasure that I got in storage. Because I've got a whole bunch of it now. Right. So let's go and undock. So I could sail there, or I could just teleport with my magical ability. Pow! Ignore that, that's totally normal. Can you taste metal? Here we are, back at the starting island, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Quick Faith. Thank you very much, Quick Faith. Okay, so I do need a way of getting some uh, oceanic stuff, don't I? Hang on a minute. Hello. Anything special? Yes, indeed. I have a bunch of things to sell you. 
I've got this gold ring, sixteen dollars. Uh, doubloon, sixteen dollars. Keep this large scrap of paper. Can I not just sell everything? No. All right, sixty dollars, thirty-eight, 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 sixty. Lovely jubbly. Uh, oh, is that it? I thought I had more. Hmm. Uh, I guess so. Okay. Well, actually, there's nothing to sneeze at. I'm back up to eight hundred and thirty-four dollars. Hmm. All right. Oh, there's one more ring in a plate. Is there? Cargo, trader. Oh yes, I'm blind. I looked at that and I assumed it was a piece of metal. Ring and yes, thank you. Hmm. Oh yes, uh, maybe the trader at Little Marrow knows something about this. Hmm. Does he? Found anything special lately? Stone tablet. Are you not the trader at Little Marrow? Does it have to be in my inventory, do you reckon? Oh, there we go. I show him the stone tablet. The trader takes the stone tablet from you and inspects it closely, turning it over in his hands. Remarkable. Yes, I do believe this is a fragment of a larger arrangement. He reaches up to a high shelf and brings down a similar looking stone, albeit one covered in much more dust. Some years ago, I acquired this other piece. You found this near those ruins in Devil's Spine, didn't you? Yes. Ah, well, I suspect there will be more uh, more out there. I'll hold on to this for now and study it further while you search for the other fragments. Don't you sell it. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me to appraise? I have this flame and now your face is on fire. No, fine. Okay. Hmm. Right then. So, let me pop over to... over here and see if this trader has a, a, a jet engine for sale. Second plate? Are you kidding me? So, no, lies. Chat, you're lying. There is no second plate. Liar, liar, pants on fire. There is no second plate. See? Check my storage. Look. Storage, cargo, storage here, see? There is no second plate. What? Oh. What? See? There's no second plate. You're liars, chat, all of you. Right. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, to the shipwright. Hello. Okay, she doesn't have any refined metal for sale. You do have a jet engine, though. Okay. I would like to buy this, please. Thank you. All right. <laughs> We're being gaslit. No. Just chat's tired. That's all. You just need. You just need to lie down. All right. Oh yeah. Let's speak to the lighthouse keeper. Apparently he. Uh, sorry. She knew what happened to the old mayor. What is it? Do you know about the silver and crimson book? So the old mayor of uh, of Greater Marrow was was whinging that I didn't throw it back. She shudders at the very mention of, mention of the book. You're really asking me? After all this time, you know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. <laughs> Mum? You have to move on, for her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. Okay. So, uh, no, lady, I don't know. I've lost my memories. Hmm. Right. Okay. Any fish in the net? Here, have a mackerel. There we go. And undock. Whee! Right, so let's drive back to Devil's Spine then, shall we? Okay. And see if we can locate the other the other two eternal flames. Also, maybe I should modify before we go. Because I've still got this net on, which is great and all. But at, at the same time, I need to start fishing abyssal stuff, don't I? Uh, oceanic stuff. So what have I got? So, coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. Okay, this is, yeah, so this is just a trawl net. I need oceanic. Uh, so, my storage locker. Abyssal and Hadel. 
Right. Did I get rid of it in time? No, here it is. Oceanic. Okay. Yeah, we'll go for Abyssal and Hadel. So remove this, uninstall it, put it in storage, and put back my bottomless line. Oh, shame it doesn't go the other way. Alright. Put it like that, probably. Okay. Let's start driving. Can I not sell the old engines? I probably should, shouldn't I? No, don't hit the boy. Wasn't me, someone else. Right. So yeah, for those passing through, I finished the latest bullshittery video. Huzzah! I'll do. Yeah, I'll start the next one soonish. I want to take at least this week off just to relax and not go crazy. Yeah. Shame I can't go fishing for real. That'd be nice. A bit too chilly. Fish aren't really awake. Although hopefully they should be quite hungry. All right. Am I ever going to revisit Rust? We do from time to time. Although, if I'm being earnest with you, I often find that Rust, whenever we put a server up, it tends to cause drama. <laughs> um, lots of us do play Rust, but also lots of us have very different ideas of what Rust is. Some of us play it religiously on raiding, like, official servers. Uh, some, of us some of us just want to hang out and draw artwork of uh, people wearing gimp masks. And so, the two different types of servers are hard to reconcile. Right. Thank you, Boris. <laughs> what happened to the SWAT successor game, uh, Zreal Stein? Ready or not, we played it last night in a group of seven. Mm. And we shot the credits. So one uh, suspect opened a door, and we immediately just opened fire and just wasted this motherfucker. Granted, he did have an MP5 in his hand, but it was quite funny. It was like, what's going on in this room? And then we just fucking unloaded on him. And then went, halt police! Oh, wait. Right. Okay, so let's go to the shipyard. She does have another piece of metal. I'm going to buy it. I'm, I'm never going to financially recover from this. Go to the shipyard. Nope, sorry. There we go. That's the last piece of metal. Now, I don't have the cash to do, to do the upgrade yet. So, let's go catch some fish. Alright. Undock. So, what flavour of fish? Uh, shallow. Let's see how much they're worth. Okay, armoured sea robin. How much are they worth? Not sure. Oh yeah, should have stored the flame, you're right. Anything out here? Oh yeah, what was in here? Are they worth anything? Not sure what that is. Oh, it's a coelacanth, holy fuck! Holy shit, I found, found one at long last. An ancient giant battered by the years gone by. Its slow eyes swivel and look at you mournfully. If memory serves, the coelacanth was an enormous bony fish that is very prominent in the fossil record for that reason. Very, very obvious fossils. Uh, and uh, it was believed to be extinct until it, mis it, until it turned up again. See, living coelacanths were discovered back in the 90s, I think it was. So they still exist, they just have extremely particular uh, living conditions. Okay, let's go deliver it back to her. Well, it's still the early morning, but it is taking up the entire fucking deck. <laughs> there we go. Piss off, you little squeaky bastards. There we go. 
Okay, so. Hello. Um, so I have the seal account for you. I presume that you want it. Hang on. So the fish that she wanted. Can I speak to her about it? Fish market. Here we go. Traveling merchant. Hello. Um, the rare fish you wanted me to find. Yeah, so I found a, a seal account. Wait, I've got a gulper eel? Oh. Oh, sweet. I gave it to her earlier. Oh, thank you. The other fish. I found a seal account. Sweet. Okay. Oh, I see. She just wanted me to find information on them. Not necessarily hand over the fish. Oh, that's sweet. Good, good deal for me. Here. Take the seal account. Take it. Nice. And four research parts. It's pretty good. So let's go to the research tree, which is here. Right. So what's this? Fathomless winch. Uh, so abyssal, hadal, oceanic. Mm. That'd be pretty damn handy, actually. Yeah, that'd be really handy. Because then I can get oceanic in there as well. Ooh. Right. Fathomless winch is now available in the stores. Additional power from a, hyd a hydraulic a a attachment makes this deep sea harvester a formidable tool. Okay. Go to the shipyard. Hello. So I need to find cash first and foremost. But that being said, this will be really handy. So. Wait, why is that there? Put that in storage. So, let's me buy one of the... Oh, it's expensive. Well, if I sell this, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, take this and sell it. Buy this. Yeah, sell the old engines as well. There we go. Sweet. So, keep that. Keep this. And the old engines. So, let's go to storage. Where are they? So, don't need this anymore. Sell. Uh, don't need this anymore. Oh, can't sell. That's my original engine, but I can discard it, I assume. No? Huh. Okay. Put that over there. Yeah, how weird. That's true. Maybe if you sell all your engines, you can't actually move. Right. So I think we're good. We just need cash now. Sweet. And I think I can fish everywhere. Do I really need, need the small crab cage? Probably not. Hang on. Right. So let's undock. Do a little bit more fishing and then... Just grab that crab pot. Hello. Pick up. Have I seen have I seen the movie The Void inspired by Lovecraft? I have not, I'm afraid. Not familiar. Is that over there? Fish. But yeah, for those joining, uh welcome. I finished the latest bullshittery and I'm gonna take a bit of a break. So that was a twelve weeker of a project, I think. A ghost shark, sometimes called the Chimera, this phantom of the deep lacks the teeth of other sharks, instead having three bony grinding plates fused to its skull. I'm pretty sure that's an... Whoops. Damn it, I lost the mixed bait that the, that the, uh, the dude gave me. Fuck, damage the hull. Take care, Mag. Have a good one. Enjoy your lunch. Right, sorry. Fish market. No, I'll hang on to that fish. Sell the crab. Alright. Need to repair everything. Okay. Repair. Uh, no, wait. We're good. Just rest. Hmm. So, yes. Um, what was I going to say? So this week is a case of rest for a bit, do some taxes, maybe write a couple of scripts for uh, a couple of video essays. Um, 
do some cooking. I was also tempted to go through and do some cleaning of the fishing gear. Take a trip to my local tip to throw some stuff away. I'm afraid the um I'm afraid the bungalow situation is going very poorly, everybody. I have nothing but bad news. Uh, the chain has fallen apart, so yes. And the solicitor is rubbish. It's all it's all bad, I'm afraid. Oh well. Maybe I'll be able to find a place at some point this year, eh? Right, I'm pretty sure. Right, you fuck off. Yes, I'm correct. Okay, and the other one is one of those daytime scape. Okay. So, let's blow this up. Right. A large pile of loose debris. Hmm. So, where are some skate? What's that? No, that's the same type. I'm looking for the flatfish. Stay away from them. Uh oh, oh, could be in trouble now. Yep, it's calling for the attention of the mummy fish. Do, 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 do. This way. Ooh, aberrant species in here. Aberrant type of shark. It's right behind me. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm okay. There we go. I lost it. I lost it, right? Fuck off. There we go. Cool. We're good. Right. Sorry. What, yeah, I was trying to find one of those skate fish. I, I thought there was going to be one between me and it. Hang on. What's that there? Aha. There we are. Gotcha. Right. Sweet. Pale skate. Lovely. And I still need to, yeah, get, just generally get lots of cash, don't I? Just need to load the, uh, hang on. Crab pot. Bonk. Yes, indeed, Canny. Yes, indeed. Yes, I should have done that, shouldn't I? You are right. Volcanic. What's that? Frilled shark. Mm. Interesting. Big. Very big. Okay. That's the only one there. Let's pull up and rest. Thank you, Merbles. Hi there, Merbles. Thank you very much, Merbles. And before that, uh, Amritard and Slightly Wet Cat and Java, Joshin and Boris. Oh. Thank you, folks. You're very kind. Okay, I probably need the Frilled Shark. I, I probably need both of them, don't I? Okay. Just rest for now. We'll go and drop them off at the altar. The dog has bogged off. All right. That's true. I could use that new mass mass uh, fish catching ability. Hang on. I'll give that a welly. All right. So yeah, so things here are good, 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 good. Um, I need to clear out the hard drive. So um. Basically, I've got this weird problem that I'm, I'm still not sure what the cause of it is. For some reason, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects aren't talking to each other anymore. There's a bit of a problem because what's meant to happen is that I edit the video together with Adobe Premiere and then switch over to Adobe After Effects to do the text and animations. But for some reason, which has bedeviled me, 
I get to the I get the first half done, but the second half won't co won't cooperate. Just the render stops randomly. Aha. So, as a temporary measure, oh bloody hell! Now I've got the refined metal. As a temporary measure, I started having Adobe After Effects produce lossless AVI files, measuring in the many many gigs. So every small scene, every 10 second scene, I don't know, would have like a, a several gigs file of just extreme high quality AVI. Pre-compressed, so lossless. And so essentially what I'm saying is that 25 minute bullshittery that I just delivered has filled up most of a 2 terabyte hard drive. Or at least a large portion of a 2 terabyte hard drive of lossless AVI files. That needs to get purged. So the bullshittery is done now. That can be deleted permanently. Alright. So now what? Let's see if I can deliver this frilled shark. I'm guessing it's this last altar over here. Shit, attracted attention. Okay, there's the altar. Go this way. Get rid of them. What's this, sorry? A stone shrine. An upright slab bears a carving. Two malformed fish writhe under the sun. What does that mean? Oh, it wants two aberrant species, doesn't it? Okay. Two malformed fish. Of any type? Okay. Let's blow a hole here. Any two aberrant fish. No worries. Oh, fuck, damn it. Fuck me. Oh, fucking hell. This place sucks. You can fuck off as well. Indeed. Sorry about that, hey Rissa. That's because the footage is relatively old. Um, so I started recording things in 1080. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, it used to be smaller res because the storage limited. But now I've got a NAS. Now I've upgraded heavily. I mean, things are still pretty hard to store, but yeah. Uh, according to the notepad next to me, as of July last year, there was 28 terabytes of live stream data. God knows what it is right now. Alright. Hmm. So, let's go to the shipyard. Repair. Okay. Alright, looks like we can sell the frilled shark then. Fish market. Let's sell it. There we go. And the volcanic snail. Then move these to storage. Okay, so we're just looking for aberrant species, but frankly we just need cash. Just hard cash. So, let's just find ourselves. Snake mackerel. What's that over there? Hadel zone. Tiger mackerel, snake mackerel. Let's go over there. Direct south. If only it had a plate to sell. Yeah, shame I never found one, eh? Real shame. Ooh, trophy. Ooh, this is a rat tail. Found at great depths, these are the most abundant of all deep sea fish. They gather in large numbers around structures in the deep. Sweet. Ah! Lovecraft Tetris. Alright. There was. Oh God, God Almighty, there was. A <laughs> I saw this YouTube video that had popped up in my feed. And it was a it was a scene from an animated Lovecraft cartoon, and it was so cursed, so 
hideously anti-Lovecraft that were he still alive, I'm sure he would have exploded. The, uh, at the time when Lovecraft was alive, there w so nuclear power, nuclear explosions hadn't been invented. Regardless, he would have found a way. He would have just exploded in the bright light of atomic energy at how how it did not in okay to explain so this scene on this youtube video was a little kid lovecraft running away down a tunnel from a tentacle monster with big teeth and big eyes voiced by ron perlman and of course the big monster sort of picks up lovecraft and goes you dare disturb shagoth <laughs> like as if it's a name like singular and then i think lovecraft bites him and he went ow and he dropped the boy and he ran away it's like, it's just, it's like, what? As in, as in, Shoggoth is a species, not a, not a, not a god. And the fact that it was all cutesy and happy. Oh, God. What? What do you want, Lulu? She's staring at me, licking her lips. You wouldn't eat your biscuits this morning. Oh, don't you burp at me, young lady. Anyway. Yeah, you can find it on YouTube. Just oh, look at that congealed rat tail. Ugh. The flesh of this deep dweller has turned into a thick ooze, secreting an oily, oily gel that covers its entire body. Hmm. Okay. Limited space. Right. Let's go deliver it back. Thank you, sneaky kitten of doom. Thank you, sneaky. And Merbles before that. <laughs> uh, no, Peddy, I'm not familiar. Okay, Rat Tail, $62. Uh, this one is 78 for the trophy. Keep the Aberrant. Okay, hang on to that. We'll go and deliver the Aberrant species over at the uh, shrine, shall we? And maybe check the crab pot. So, I need 1,500. How much have I got? I've got 746. With 1,500, I can upgrade to the last boot. Alright. Ah, the crab pot. Now, we'll deliver this first. Piss off, you fishy bastard. Uh, I made an an exterior entrance. Where was it? <laughs> oh look! Oh shit! Fuck off, you little bastards! <coughs> Where was it? Goldfish memory. I think so. I think so. Was it not on this side? Ooh, another aberrant species. Let's quickly grab it. Oh, no, wait. I'm on the wrong island. There we go. Ugh. A wrapped shark. A grinning moor turned upwards to the sky. Wing-like fins ready to take flight. Hi there, innocent fairy. Hi there. Um, I think you might you, you might be, uh, have me confused though. I I've, ne I've never played War Thunder. I think my clan mates have though. My clan mates and my mods they regularly do that, but uh, I've not played War Thunder. All right. Hello, shrine. There we go. <coughs> the rock splits with an almighty crack. Ooh. An encrusted talisman. No, can't take it for some reason. Hang on. Take the flame. This, uh, what's this, sorry? A glyph of a hook is carved into the centre. What's going on here, sorry? Install time. It's a piece of equipment. Oh, really? Into the rod bits? <laughs> okay. Uninstall that, then. Put it in storage. 
Take this. Put it here. What's this then? Right, we're losing the light. Fuck off. Piss off, piss off, piss off. There we go. A uh, crusted talisman. Hmm. Weird. Let's go get the crab pot and drive back to sell the crabs. What sort of depth does it go for? Doesn't specify. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Umbral puppet. Long limbs hang idly from a, from a body mounted with blackened spheres. It waits for the call of the void. A delicacy. Sushi chefs all over the world. They pick it up, it starts screaming. They just crack open its carapace and serve it over some white rice. Mmm, lovely. Hang on. Okay. Hello. So, we've managed to get... Have I got all the flames? I do have all the flames. We should go and deliver them to the thing in the middle, shouldn't we? Massive crab pot. What was the other thing I wanted to do? Well, upgrade the ship. That's so I need cash. Let's get the cash first. Sell the spider crab for 73. Sell this for 167. Put these in storage. What the fuck is this then? What does it do? Fishing speed, aberration bonus plus three percent. I see. Is it like a power up that you put next to your rods? Looks like it. So uninstall it for now because I don't have the space. Or do I? I might. If I flip that round, would that give me space? No, it wouldn't, would it? Would it? Put it in storage. Take this. No, I'm just fucking thick. No, leave it there. Right. Storage, retrieve the fathomless winch. Stick it here. Right. Oh, wait, I think you're right. Hang on. Yes, no, I'm, I'm a fucking thicky McThickerson, aren't I? Ah, uh, still not enough room. I never... We'll just put it there anyway. Okay. And put that there. Right. Okay. So. Go to... No, it's daytime. I've been working all night on this. Whoops. So a bit more cash then. Let's undock. So look for any specific species. Frilled shark. Hello. You're over there. You're directly west. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Ah. Hello, whale. There we go. So, for those joining the live stream, you're looking at a bit of uh, a bit of dredge, where I'm playing as a, a as an angler, as a fisherman, just making a living. The people are a bit surly and weird, and uh, lots of weird shit is happening in the ocean. Ignore all that shit. We're just here to uh, catch fish and uh, basically retrieve things on the high seas. Looking for abyssal species, mostly. Mm -hmm. Ah, walker. Lovely. Squeeze that in there. And squeeze that in here. Can I do it? Just there. That should be all. Yeah. That's all she wrote. Right. And back here we go. Hi there, Messi. Messi says, I've got Percy a new toy and he's doing all the cute head tilts at the noises it makes. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> 
Percy's very, very cute. How old is Percy now? Time is flying, isn't it, Messi? There we go. Right, so I should be able to sell all, all of these for 360, uh, 386. Nice, almost. Almost, almost. We'll do a little bit of fishing at night then. Alright. What can we see without going mad? Volcanic penis fish. Go for one of those. Where is it? Is that the penis fish? Yep. No, you bastards. Fuck off. You're going to attract big mummy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Banish. Go away. Use my magical ability. Got rid of the sucker. Okay, any more night time? Oh, look. So what is this thing? Let me honk at it. Oh, it went away. I keep seeing that random, like, I, th I think it, I think it might be like an anglerfish. Like, literally an anglerfish. As in its prey is an angler. Another cusk eel. Done. Depleted. Right. Oh yeah, the red hooded guy wanted one of these, didn't he? Hmm. Maybe. I'll think about it. Do I have enough for... Uh, hang on. If I sell some of them... Do I have enough for the upgrade? I do. Okay. Leave this one for the weird LARPA. Okay, so, that I should have enough. So let's go to the floating dock and buy my last new hull. Tier 4 hull upgrade. Huzzah. There we go. Big boat. Big, 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 big boat, everybody. All right. So, what final upgrades can I stick onto the big boat? Let's have a look. Two rod spaces. Maybe I should prioritize that for the sake of that weird artifact that I can stick here. Okay. What else have I got? Uh, more general storage space. A couple more spots for more engines. Okay. What's that? Sorry. More lights. Hmm. Okay. A times three light is possible. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Longer fishing at night. Okay. Yeah, let's do that then. So work towards the light slot. All right, there we go. Couple bits of wood. Don't have the cash for it right now. Or the wood for it right now. Alright. So. Let's rest. Wake up. Am I feeling properly rested? Undock. Okay, work our way towards the LARPA. Whilst also trying to spot any... So stay away from that big fish. Uh, not much here. Some treasure over there. More eels. Anything around the island? Hmm. Visibility be rubbish, yo. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, kited. I did, yes. The boat is pretty fucking fast now, isn't it? Holy shit. One speedy boat. Hello? What are you? Ah, eels. There we go. Grab a few of these. Quite valuable. Oh, just the one. Right, where's the LARPA? He's over here, isn't he? Okay. Quite a few people watching this morning. Welcome. I hope you're having a nice, smooth Monday. Over here, long story short, I have taxes to do. 
Uh, the UK tax deadline is Wednesday, so I am cutting it very close to the wire. I've declared all the money that I've taken in. What I haven't finished yet is declaring all of my expenses. So I've got little things that I can list as deductibles. So I need to go through my, say, like my Amazon purchases or whatever and be like, yep, that's work related or whatever. Yeah. So I take this fish and I fling it at his fucking face, this lazy motherfucker sitting around all day. The figure draws a ceremonial knife from their robe and slices it into the fish, cutting out the heart. They place it on the stand in front of them. Bring down the sky. Another shape on the scroll. This one looks like a sailfish. Fucking hell, dude. Fuck off. Right. Ask for the fucking sky. Yeah, he is, isn't he? What would be the most inappropriate thing that he could ask for, folks? Like, imagine you're you know, you're minding your own business, you're walking down the street, and then there's a student sitting there wearing a fucking bathrobe, and he asks you for something. No, no, not something inappropriate as in something that's just rude. Like, here, give me your keys to a Lamborghini or something. An orca whale. <laughs> yeah. A house... The next bullshitter, eat your socks. Thank you, modern messiah. Your NFT wallet. <laughs> uh, a two-ton potted plant. Yeah, just something like go into that hardware store and get, get like fucking five slabs of marble or something incredibly specific but very expensive. And fuck off, get it yourself. Go do your own fucking DIY or gardening or whatever. Can I have a moment of your time for Jesus? Ooh. Hey, dolphins. You say that. Here in Brighton, there are lots of, um, you know, those pop-up stalls with people trying to do that. Can I talk about, talk about God? It's like, no, you can't. Or you can talk to yourself about God. Fuck off. I wonder if perhaps they target this city on purpose because it's a bit of a gay mecca. Therefore, I suppose in their mind, it's full of sinners. Mm. Ooh, nice little trophy. Alright. So, I've got a bigger boat now. Sailfish. Where the fuck is a sailfish? Check my encyclopedia. A spider crab, scarlet prawn... Of course, it's listing the ones I haven't caught yet. Abyssal. Unknown. Is that a sailfish? No. Open ocean. Okay. Of course. Let's cruise around in the open ocean then. Yeah. It's been a while since I've had my ocean uh, oceanic rig. Aha, what's that? Snake mackerel. Let's go this way. Doobly doo. Doo doo doo. Okay. Oh, what's that? Snake mackerel. Uh, rat tail. Same, same as before. Ghost sharks, abyssal. Grey mullet. Grey mullet. Doo, doo, doo. Maybe there's nothing out here. Maybe it's like open ocean as in here, in the in the gaps between the islands. Oh, no. oh it's a big big blue whale. Yeah. Okay. Using the light, best be careful. Okay, we're around the back of a uh, twisted strand. Uh, 
Okay. What's that? Ooh, question mark. Oceanic. A fish that I have not caught before. Although I'm losing the light, so will I lose the shoal? No, stay with me. Stay with me. What are you? Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Blackfin tuna. These popular sport fish can prove challenging to catch. Their strong, muscular bodies make for good eating. Let me go to the cabin, open the uh, pursuits. Which LARPA wanted a... Hmm. Oarfish, sailfish, fangtooth. No, maybe not. Okay. Uh, what's that over there? Grey mullet? All right, we'll catch more of these. Sell them. There's a fishmonger nearby. La 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 la. Is it stale? No, it's still fresh. Good, good. Yeah. Don't want, don't want to deplete the stock. Is that an aberrant species over there? There's something. Grey mullet. Yeah. Do I have all the aberrant species for the grey mullet? Let's have a look. Twisted Strand. Ooh, I'm missing one aberrant species for the grey mullet. Let's investigate. Mm -hmm. Oh, haven't caught it yet. Cool, what is that? Entwined mullet. Twisting, twitching tendrils sprout from the gill plates of this little fish. They heave in unison, moving the fish against its will. Grim. Pop my light on. There we go. Go sell these. <laughs> oh, trophy one there. Done. Okay. Do, 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 do. Any plans for Lethal Company, uh, Turon Draco? I'm afraid it's not my type of game, sorry. Not really my genre. So, no plans, I'm afraid. Oh, hello, there's a golden thing over there. We can go and investigate soon. Yes, I'm not really into my uh, indie cooperative horror games in the vein of Phasmophobia. Just not really my type of game. Okay. What about Pal World? Well, whilst it is open world survival, and typically I do enjoy that, I'm not so sure I'm into that sort of aesthetic. Right. Okay, so, sell these for 319. Oh, less than I was expecting. Alright. Oh wait, snake mackerel? Isn't that one that, uh, what that guy wanted? Did someone want snake mackerel? Cabin... Pursuit... Yes! Figure in blue. Alright, hang on to one of those. You're not getting the good one. If you wanted the good one, you should have caught it yourself. Okay. Wrong screen. Right, so that's for the rest of them. Uh, yep, sell. Right. Spin it around a bit, wipe it on things. Uh, there we go. Right, we'll go give it to the LARPA. Um, right, so. Where is he? The LARPA is... Uh, between the Marrows and the Gale Cliffs. Really? Ugh, he's all the way over there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we'll teleport back. So rest for now. Alright. Go here. Use the teleportation ability. There we go. So between this island and this island, apparently. No, not really. Out. Sorry, but I feel a bit defensive, Outlander, because 
It, it comes with the territory that when you live... Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? Weird. Hmm. Sorry, it comes with the territory that when you live stream, people will naturally ask if you're going to play this and that. That's that's okay. But, but at the same time, not, not everything is to your taste, so... You know? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be playing racing games or whatever. Just not really for me. In the same way I won't really be playing Lethal Company. It's just not for me. Well I could do it, physically do it, nothing stopping me. But I th I feel I'd be forcing it, you know? Okay. Here, take your fucking mackerel. The fish has barely left your hands before a splintered nail begin sorry, be before the splintered nails begin peeling off the scales. The heart is extracted and devoured. They take a book from inside their robe and they hand it over. Hunger sated, now I wait. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. I'm going to slowly back away. Slowly back away. He turns to the right, he looks at me, realises that I've gone, and then brings out his mobile phone. Hi mum, I'm ready for a pickup. Right. What's this? Haggling and bartering. Start reading the book. Okay. What's that? I've forgotten what that was. Just remove it. There you go. Remove all? Is it not working? There we go. So, now what? So, net pursuits fangtooth, rare fish. Sailfish. Okay. So sailfish, oarfish, tigerfish. I can have a look for them. Okay. So, what's the time? So it's uh, five minutes past one. A little bit more, folks, and then I've got to go finish my taxes today. Okay. Hadel, what's this? I presume oceanic. There we go. Sail. Oh, I've caught a sailfish before. Next to the marrows. Daytime. Okay. Oceanic. Next to the marrows. So just have a look around. Is there a sailfish in the area? Blue mackerel. Cod. What's that? Cloth. More cod. Ah, right next to me. Hello, sailfish. Bonk, 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 bonk. Bonk. Sweet. We've caught a sailfish. We'll hand it to the other larper over there. Okay. So. <laughs> Hi there, purple tiger. I hope you sleep well when you do, if it's late for you. Yes, uh, my evening streams are pretty much fully booked, so I won't be able to do dredge on uh, on those streams. Uh, unusually booked this week, I'm afraid. Hang on. So this week, uh, well, uh, so I've got Baldur's Gate tonight and Wednesday. Hang on. Uh, a bit unusually, I have something going on Tuesday evening now. I'm going to be joining uh, ZF Harry, my mod Duckslayer, and my friend Alistair. And we're going to be doing a bit of Halo Reach. We're going to be doing the four-player co-op, uh, presumably on Expert or Legendary or whatever it is. So uh, that's tomorrow. Then on Thursdays, Hold Fast, because it's always Hold Fast. On Fridays, Left for Dead. And then on Sundays is uh, Ready or Not, I assume, if we're going to do it again. So the only free day I've got is actually Saturday now. Things are looking a bit, uh, a bit full, a bit chonky. Hmm. Right. Look at her. She's happy. Hi there, Birdie. Hi there, indeed, Birdie. Uh, Insomniarg. Um, so storage issues was the reason. So back in the day, I lacked many easy storage methods. I was just buying hard drive after hard drive. And so storing 1080 streams proved to be tricky. So I downgraded slightly. It's different now, though. More modern streams. I've got a full-on NAS with 43.6 uh, terabytes of available space. But even that is starting to fill up quite quick. Yeah. Anyway, hang on a minute. Uh, so wait a second, what was I doing? I got the sailfish. I'll leave it on the screen for you. 
Right. Fangtooth. What's a fangtooth? So that's the other. So the figure's in gold. Fangtooth. Is it... Uh, hang on. Appar not aberration. Hadel, maybe? Fangtooth. Hmm. Oh, that looks like a fang. Oceanic at the Marrows. Oh, no, wait. It's an aberration of that thing. Well, I'll, I'll look at the... Um, I'll go I'll go to the figure in gold. I'll look at it. Yeah, let me hand this in. So, cabin. Pursuit. Sailfish. Figure in red. Where is he? The island between the Twisted Strand and the Devil's Spine. Which is where? Stella Basin. So he's, he's over here? Here or here? Oh no, I was literally just there. It's the guy in red, isn't it? Let's go. Right. Not manifest. Haste. I did. Thank you for it. Black Hole VT. Thank you for your artwork. I think it's uh, very appropriate. Thank you, Black Hole. Uh, I want to get all this artwork like on a collage on my wall at some point. Thank you for it, Black Hole. <laughs> right. Hang on. <laughs> Indeed, Ilsa. And hi there, Ilsa. Yes, uh, when I've got my... Well, well, hopefully, if I can get a bungalow one day, I'm going to have... Uh, some people have pictures all over their walls of their family in their toilets or whatever, in their bathrooms. Like they for, for guests to view, I guess it... Yeah, you know, I have like big collages of all the artwork. Yeah. Hi there, Birdie. Yes, indeed. The game is uh, very peaceful. Nothing bad ever happens in this game. It's fine. Look, these these are just students. Ignore the creepy long nails. Bring down the sky. Another shape on the scroll. This one looks like a sailfish. I'm trying to stab him. Stab him. Stab him. Stab him. Yeah. Happy fucking sailfish. The ceremonial knife comes out, and again, the, a lo the large heart is extracted. It is placed on a stand behind the first. Raise the deep. The figure points to a shape on the last scroll. This one is of a frilled shark. All right. Fucking back and forth. Dredge my ass. Fetch quest the game. Right. Frail shark. Snake mackerel. What was that? Ah. There we go. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Deliver it to the larpa. Pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis the Blob. Hi there, Lewis. Thank you kindly, Lewis the Blob. Raise the deep. Right, I fling the fucking eel at him. The shark. They drag the shark's body around to find the right angle before plunging the knife in and pulling out the heart. They place it on a stand beside the others. Without looking at you, they take a book from inside their robe and throw it into the sand at your feet. Rude. The figure kneels before the fish hearts and becomes still. You leave before they decide they need any more any more hearts. Yeah, fucking scroungers. Get your own. What is the book? Book is here. Nautical engineering. Okay. We'll read it as we go. Okay. So, one last thing, folks, and then I need to go and do my taxes today. Find one more tablet. Oh, yeah, let's go light the statues. So I found three eternal flames, or whatever they're called. Let's go stick them in those braziers over there and see what happens. Whee! Pardon me. Yeah, I, I need to... Um, I, I've left it to the wire. That's my, that's my pickle, folks. I've been naughty. So I need to have my accountant look over it, but I haven't given them much time, have I? 
Oh, it's my crab pot. Go away, crazy eyes. Oh, hello. Pick up crab. And the crab pot. We'll get it repaired. Oh yeah, I should probably put the light on. Help with my sanitaire. Alright. Alright. Birdie, Maya says this is Novi uh, it, that, that runs this shop here. Okay. So. Have a lobster, Novi. Oh, sold both of them. That's fine. Okay, so let's grab it from storage. Get the flames on board. There's no way that this could go wrong place these three open flames in the middle of a wooden boat. Yeah, okay, that's sensible. Okay, go to the shipyard. Fix my crab pot. Rest. Alright. And then detach. Let's go. Alright. Okay, and bonk goes the crab pot. Pick that up later. <laughs> so, that dude wanted me to go and find some flames and stick them in these braziers over here. So, statues, here we go. It holds something. Fathomless flame. A cold flame roars in the statue's hands. Which statue do you want to look at? The middle one. The cold flame roars in the statue's hands. The right one. There we go. Preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. Hello, weirdo. What is it? The flames are lit. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I'm looking for sunken relics. Are there any shipwrecks around here? Relics, you say? Perhaps one such as this. He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. I f it found me during my rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. I sapped it, uh, sorry, it sapped my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. As will, as will you when the ritual is prepared. It will be yours to carry forth. Anything else? Okay, some weirdo collector wanted it. I'll give you a fiver for it. The flames are lit. Ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. What are you doing? He ignores you. The wind picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. <laughs> Stop, dude. Stop. His chanting grows louder. The freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chant chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. Oh dear. The rage is for a moment and then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pulls around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold and damp. I inspect the fire. The watch. That was easy. You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in my palm, clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked face. Okay. Great, now I've got to go and report that to the police. So question chat, for those who have completed the game, when I hand in the watch, is that the end of the game? Is it worth just powering forward? Have I reached the end game? That's the final thing that the collector wanted. Okay, so there's still, there's still, in other words, there's still some content left if I were to do this live stream tomorrow. Hmm.
Okay. Well, I'll, I'll pick this... Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave that, that till next time then. Because, yeah, there's plenty of other fish that I could catch. If I'm going for completionism. Not really enough for another stream. You reckon? Okay, fuck it. Let's just finish it then. Right. So, I've got the last part of it then. Here we go. Let's go back to the collector and see what he has to say. Shall we? Hang on. Uh, crab pot. This thing. So, at the beginning of the game, this collector, on me finding an artifact, was it a key? Yeah, he wanted me to collect various different things, like a, a jewel encrusted, like, circlet. It was a key. What else was there? there was, a, was it a music box or something? All, the, all of these little artifacts that were left over from something. He's being really cryptic. I climb the broken steps of the old mansion. The waves swell and crash against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. I deliver the relic. He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. I take out, I take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplic inexplicably, I can't even, inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its me mechanisms have grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no what? What do you want with them? It will become apparent soon enough. You must make one final voyage. This time I will be with you. Ugh. Okay. Where do you want to go? You going to pay me? Warning, you're entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Okay. One more time, your progress will not be saved. Okay. <laughs> ominous from the game. You still haven't figured out? No, I don't think I have, Puffy. Sorry, uh, to recap from the beginning. So what I know is that... Um, these islands have some weird surly people with cultists. There was some civilization here. Uh, this guy wants me to collect bits that I think some honeymooning couple found. I might be the husband, I think. Because the mayor, back at Greater Marrow, got weird and said, Did you throw back the book? He's got the book. So, what, was he on my crew back in the day? Okay. I don't know. No one's telling me shit. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Okay. Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. I've marked it on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. The Collector is aboard your vessel. Okay. Uh, so. Where is he? Just hanging out. Um, no, what does he want? Is he trying to... Is he trying to wake something up? Doobly do 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 do. Just hope he pays well. <laughs> One minute. Man's gonna make a profit. Oh. Collectors staring at me like, what are you doing? Fishing. What sort of boat you think you're on? A cruise? There we go.
Alright, so the weird collector told me to get a bunch of items and come here. Why was that? This is the place. This is the place for one. This is where she was taken from us and where we can at last bring her back. Only here and only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one frozen uh, a lost one frozen in time, he throws the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, he throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens. He slots the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Is that his wife? Oh dear. Oh no! <laughs> what happened? Did the world end? <clears throat> so that's Greater Marrow that's burning. Oh shit! So what? Is that some ritual to bring back some dark god or something? Okay. Must admit, I've, I, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Sorry, but maybe I missed something. So who was that then? <clears throat> the collector wanted to bring back his lost wife. The mayor said that I lost my wife. Okay. Dense. Thank you, Lord Baguette. Thank you. Speak to the lighthouse keeper. I did. She just yelled at me for not throwing it back and then wandered off. Do the other ending? Hmm. What other... Sorry, ha what other ending? How do you do another ending? Hmm. Other ending and don't read the chat. Other ending. Okay. Right, we'll do the other ending then. Maybe 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 it'll make more sense. <laughs> do all my fishing trips end like this? Sometimes. <laughs> so, sorry, Swayze. I must admit, I'm, I'm feeling a little self-conscious because it's. I, I don't know if the chat's just joking, but like, I'm not. I'm not sure. What am I meant to be picking up? 
the the quests thus far have been quite matter of fact. Just go here, pick this up. I'm trying to th I'm trying to like think back. What have I missed? Hmm. Anyway, uh, let me yeah let me skip this bit. Yeah, let's go back then. Is it even possible to go back, or is that at the end of it? Hang on, continue. Okay. So this is before I handed in the thing, isn't it? Yes, I've still got it with me. Okay. So what exactly cabin? Encyclopedia. Nope, not that. Pursuits. The main quest. So I found the watch. I should return it to the collector. Uh, okay. Catch rare fish. Something to do with the tablets? I found an ancient stone tablet with a strange glyph on it. Looks similar to the ones I saw on the trader's desk in Little Marrow. So I took it to him. Hmm. Give it back and then refuse. Uh, okay. Go talk to the lighthouse keeper. What does she have to do? She, I, I did. She just told me to go away. Hang on. Okay. Hello. What is it? Uh, do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? That's, he's not... I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory. Okay. So the guy who's gone. So she shudders at the mention of the book. Are you asking me after all this time? You know it must be returned. You have to move on for her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. I don't have the book. That weird collector guy does. Okay. <laughs> okay. Deliver the relic. Oh, see, so conceal the relic. Okay, sorry. I didn't actually see that second. I thought that just said leave. I didn't read it. Conceal the relic? What is it? Uh. Okay. Uh, tell me more about the book. Which book? This one here? With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from a nearby shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of the histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb, you know which book I mean. The literal book in his hand. Play dumb, your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in a dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead, ask. Where did you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Who? You wanted to forget. Begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. I wanted to forget. What? So, yeah. So, I, I assume I'm the honeymooning couple. Okay. Did she fall overboard or some shit? Give me the book. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Okay. Step closer? You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters, oh dear, and falls to the ground. Oh. Ah. Okay. You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages. And now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. We cannot undo everything. Undo what you did. Okay. 
So what's that? So, oh, okay. Now hang on, chat. Sorry, no, in my defense, there was no way I could have known that. Beyond an offhand comment from a guy saying no one lived on that on that mansion, there was no indication that that was a mirror. Okay. So what's the workshop then? It's locked. Okay. Hmm. I assume that was just the doorway to the mansion. In fact, it even describes going in. The text describes going into the house and dragging the key across the floor, damaging his floorboards. Okay. Ah. So, to the lighthouse keeper, I have this book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this win window of lu uh, lucidity. Now it's time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness behind the bay? When you're ready, I'll point the way. Okay. You must wait until the night is thickest, until the ocean is at its, uh, as it was all those years ago. Okay. Oh, really, Puffy? Oh, okay. It's time. I'll point the way. Follow my light. Go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. Okay. So what happened over there, then? Woman engaged to be married. Uh... Oh, wait, hang on a minute. So these messages in bottles weren't... So they're being written back... So they're being written by a dead girl? I figured they were just messages in bottles from, like, when they were honeymooning. Oh, I see, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. So some ancient evil is manipulating a guy who's losing his mind over the loss of his wife into going through some resurrection ritual. So this is the place. I throw the book back. The book struggles in your grasp, its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. I throw it into the foaming water. Oh dear. Oh no! Oh. Okay. And now everyone's okay? Right. That did come out. It did feel like it came out of left field a little bit because you expected just. I well, I, mm, I don't know. I expected him to sort of mournfully go off into the sunset and remember, like, look at a picture of his wife or something. Random evil fish comes and bites. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mm. All right then. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I think a more poignant ending might have been, as in, I don't know, look at a picture of her or something and sail off into the sunset. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay then. Still, pretty cool game. Yeah. As people have been pointing out, the art style, yeah, particularly cool and atmospheric. Yeah. I'll tell. There's not a third ending now, is there? <laughs> Let me guess. You give the book to Novi at the dock. She just sells it. Hmm. Okay. So sorry, um, chat. So now that I've seen them both, so so fill me in. So what what happened exactly? Because I still feel I still feel a bit hazy. So obviously, so the guy was talking to his reflection the whole time, but what happened to the wife? Did she just fall overboard or some shit? Drowned. She died. Does it specify how? She died, but it's not clear how. Okay. You dredged the book from a fishing trip with the wife. The Leviathan attacked and killed the wife. Did it? Hmm. Okay. And then you drove back to the shore and crashed. So how'd you lose your memory? Hmm. Oh, that's true. Yes, you dem you he yeah, he did say that. You demanded it of the collector. Hmm. Okay. Cool though. Um, a skinger. So it, yes, it all—it all had something to do with that one book. So the book was doing all the magic shit. So the collector never—the collector was never real. It seems that we weren't stepping into a mansion. We were just talking to a mirror that was there. So I guess we had the book on us the whole time. Okay. Anyway, well, thank you for watching, everyone. So that was a bit of a yeah, that was a bit of dredge. That was fun. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Do you give that a go if you, if you fancy doing some peaceful fishing where nothing bad ever happens? Yeah. Right. So, as for right now, if you'll forgive me, I need to bog off because I've got lots of stuff to do. I need to go and finish my taxes. I need to go and file my self-assessment tax return in the UK. Otherwise, the HMRC, Her Majesty's uh, Revenue and Customs, will find me and cut my head off. The, I the IRS in the United States may be scary, but they, they can't literally have the monarch decapitate you. They can here. In fact, apparently the Queen loved it. She had a broadsword. She was like, bring me the tax cheats. <laughs> one by one. Anyway. So, I need to go and do that. So I need to go and get that filed and have my, have my accountant go over it. And, um, yeah. And then this afternoon, probably, yeah, I need to go for a jog as well, don't I? I need to get my fat ass moving. Cool. So I'll be around this evening for a bit of Baldur's Gate 3 with my clan mates. So that's at 7.30, so I hope to see you then. And um, thank you Fallen King, Lord Baguette, Vajhar and Stark and Lewis. Thank you all of you. Thank you. Right. Hang on. Oh yeah, I'll put this on. Uh, thank you Black Hole uh, for doing that, for the artwork. Hang on. Right. So, are any of my clan mates doing anything? Let's have a quick look. Okay. So, I'm the only member of ZF currently on. As for people I'm following, it seems that Dodge is on, so a regular in the channel. Dodge is currently doing a bit of RimWorld. I'll leave you in Dodge's company. 
So thank you again, folks. Have a wonderful afternoon. Hope to see you again soon. And um, yeah, take care. This is Dodge.